Good afternoon. This is WBN News. I'm Michael McCormick. And I'm Andra Armstrong. President Reagan and other NATO leaders began their summit meeting in Brussels today. NATO Secretary General Lord Peter Carrington opened the summit praising the new superpower arms treaty. But Carrington warned that a treaty and one new Soviet leader do not... Iran's holy city is the latest target in the eight-year-old Gulf War. The concert featured many of Springsteen's songs from his per current album, Tunnel of Love. Ula, you didn't happen to uh, catch that concert while you were in town, did you? Unfortunately not. Um, but I can't... Bowie in the phone. That was good. Yeah. I understand that was a really an outstanding concert. I would love to see Springsteen. I never seen him. And finally tonight... Thumbs down. They are with the 519th Military Police Battalion. And as the President continues his vacation in California, the administration says it has begun to review its economic and political options against Panama's military dictator, Manuel Noriega. In a related development this afternoon, the any money we see for that, for tuition, that is, for tuition that isn't any money received that isn't specifically designated for tuition or books is taxed. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen. Back to you, Dan. Attorney General Edwin Meese's choice for the number two post at the Justice Department has said no thanks to the offer. The nominee, St. Louis Attorney John Shepard, says the job would put too much pressure on him and his family. Best in Washington today, Andra Armstrong has more. Peter Masolian now joins us with sports, and for those of you who like to see records broken, Peter's going to tell us about one record that's on the verge of falling. The Navy has retrieved three bodies from the submarine bonefish. They were missing since the sub exploded Sunday. I have sinned. But don't despair. He's brought back with a resurrection machine. Are you sure that's necessary? You can't be too careful. All right, now I know Joe. What was it like doing this movie, working together? Joe was great. I mean, uh, we both come from different backgrounds. And if you're not I uh, did a few musical comedy. Our blurb for this movie says, South Carolina, who support Thurmond. The room was big, but not big enough for the media. The senator was tight-lipped after the meeting as well. Can just ask you how it, how it went in there? Are you comfortable? Well, I have any uh, comment. Doctors have found that freezing a portion of the retina can reduce the chances of blindness in babies. Retinopathy is a common eye disease among premature infants, and more than 2,500 babies suffer from the disease each year. According to the National Eye Institute, more than 600 become blind. Thumbs down. From the festivities on the South Lawn of the White House, this is Steve Peters reporting. And as Lisa Goff reports, some students aren't happy about it. The Soviets of withholding information needed for the agreement. But Kempelman says he expects the Soviets to hand in this information by the end of the day. Well, obviously, we got our tapes mixed up in the back. It's, it's the same old bullshit we've heard for years and years and years. That's my commentary. I'm Dan Lothian. The original hangs in the Capitol as part of the year-long celebration. What I like about you, you really know how to dance. When you go up now. Well, when with April, well, when with April, well, when with April, well, 
when with April 15 just two days away, people run for this high office in order to have a kind of springboard for future occupations. It's the same old bullshit we've heard for years and years and years. But officials need to realize that they're held to a higher or should be um, setting an example, and they should be held or should be um, setting an example, and they should be held and maintain higher ethical standards. That sleaze. That sleaze. That sleaze. Well, that was just a joke. But Thumbs down. A third of the poor people in the district are children. Because... In Washington, I'm Ned Lundquist. That's the price you pay for winning the Super Bowl, folks. Thanks, Sandra. Will Retzbo has the film review for this week. Will? Andra, can you imagine a French woman in Hiroshima talking to her Japanese boyfriend about her old job? The European didn't pay me to do it. Sure I would. But I have to tell you this, folks. This is not the police academy. This is a brainy movie. So, as Dan Lohner would say, you better get a long nap before you're going and see Hiroshima Monomura. Steve? Thank you. To find out who was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame this year, let's ask sports caster Yanni Boutez. Well, Mike, the answer to that question is no one. The Bill Landon goes inbound to Daryl Bob, and Bob makes a 70-foot shot at the buzzer. Wasn't that beautiful? Well, that's an excellent point, and that's nothing that's new. They can't get the story first. What's the sense of having them there? Well, actually, that's a very that's a <clears throat> excellent point. There is a problem with ever, whenever we have censors before filing reports on the slayings. The World Court said, I have sinned. Behind the back to Antoine Carr and down. Burrs, Lakers overcame a start to Utah Jazz, Denver against Sacramento, and Seattle since the playoff berth with their victory over Michael Jordan and the Bulls. There's the NIT final tonight in New York. Back to you, Ned. A weekend weather. As well as into the South, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia. My five day forecast is like this. Tonight, cloudy chance of rain. Tomorrow, increasing cloudiness with another chance of rain. Temperatures in the 60s. Friday, this front may cause lots of rain. Saturday and Sunday, it should be getting nicer. Temperatures will be in the 60s. Ned, I don't think we'll need those uh, umbrellas after all. As Ned just finished saying, spring has come and the blossoms have sprung. And now it's time for you and I to go out and have some fun. Let's it's the same old bullshit we've heard for years and years and years. From that sleaze. That's my weather forecast. I hope you have an enjoyable evening and also look forward to a great weekend. Really, really. Um, just very mild weather. Let's go to my weekend forecast. Friday, we're going to have hazy sunshine, highs will be in the 70s, lows in the 40s. Saturday and Sunday are both going to be uh, pretty, pretty mild, early morning clouds, a little bit of sprinkling late on Sunday and Saturday night. That's my forecast. Back to you, Jim. Uh, the best I can do for you is Oslo, Norway. They will have snow flurries tomorrow, but that's about it, folks. Other than that, it's kind of the temperate zone when they go for that big record. And fellas, I believe, worst start ever, I think they can do it. How about you? And uh, that seems very interesting. I like that rating system. Thumbs down. Thank you, Jim. Back to you, My Jim. Pleasure, Steve. Ned? Thank you, Jim. Mike? Thanks, Ned. Yanni? Mike and... Mike? Deidre? Thank you, Mike. I'll take it back to Jim. Thank you, Deidre. Lisa? Back to you, Jim. Thank you, Lisa. Ned? Back to you, Dan. Andra? Thank you, Andra. Mike? Back to you. Lisa? Back to you. Thank you, Lisa. Jim? Ned? Thank you, Jim. Peter? Deidre? Steve? Back to you, Ned. Thanks, Steve. Back to you. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. Thank Deidre? Lisa? Jim? Well, Yanni? Ola? Thank you, Lisa. Lisa? Everybody wants to make me Lisa and you Yanni. <laughs> In any event, Sonny Bono has become California's latest celebrity mayor. His former wife and singing partner, Sher. Mayor Bono dips into county funds in order to buy Fredericks of Hollywood clothing for Sher. 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 Lisa? Steve? 
Thank you, Lisa. Jim? Thanks, Sandra. Thanks, Sandra. Lou? Andra, can you? Thank you for this week. Lou? Andra. Steve? Thank you, William. Finally tonight, Channel 7 is losing its weekend sports anchor. I know this will come as a big surprise to Jim Cudler. Jim Berry is leaving for Miami, where he will be sports director and weekly sports anchor for the CBS affiliate down there. Berry's departure will take place within a couple of weeks. We want to wish him good luck in Miami. And that's it for this afternoon for WBN News. For Jim Cudler, Andre Armstrong, my co-anchor, Dan Lothian, and everyone here at WBN, good afternoon and stay tuned for our 5 o'clock report. Thank you. Maybe